The corner office at Infosys has always been a bastion of the founders in the company's three-decade history. But that will change soon as the company is now set to elect its first non-founder CEO. While the current CEO Shibulal's term ends in March 2015, he has decided to retire early. Either in the board meeting in January or even earlier if a CEO is finalised by then. Shibu's decision to step down ahead of the schedule may have raised a few eyebrows, but the board has played down the development, stating that it would make the transition easier. I don't think it is material at all because uh, you know, the board process itself will take uh, quite some uh, time. Yeah, the nomination committee consists of uh, myself as chair, uh, Mr. Seshasai, uh, vice chairman of Ashok Leland, and uh, Kiran Mazumdar, short chairman of uh, Biocon. While BG Srinivas is tipped to be the internal favourite for the top job, the company has also left a window open for external candidates. It has engaged agencies such as Development Dimension International and Egon Zender to evaluate external candidates. But former Infosys board member Mohandas Pai said the company will look closely at internal candidates. There are maybe 8 to 10 people who are capable of running that company. You have not seen them because they don't come before the TV, they don't talk in the quarter. Having internal candidates has a, great, uh, has, a, has, a, has a greater chance than getting somebody from outside. Irrespective of whether the next CEO is an internal or external candidate, the man that he will have to find favour with is Infosys founder and chairman N.R. Narayan Murthy. While the chairman's office is the power centre currently with the company, it's not clear if NRN will gradually take the back seat once the new CEO comes in. With Chandra Ashrikant, Ritu Singh, ET Now, Mumbai.